Hi everybody, remember the Escute Paluno e-bike? Well, I lent it to my brother to test it and he's a crazy mad cyclist. Not like me, I'm fat and lazy, but he goes everywhere and he's had it for a year now and he's done three and a half thousand miles on the thing. So this is a really thorough test. Now, people tell me that one of the problems with reviews is folks don't get back. They do the review and then a year later you hear nothing from them. So what I really was keen on was getting that one year update where the bicycle had been used. And I knew my brother was gonna use it and he has. And he's prepared this report for us. So let's have a look. Hi, Dave Smith here. So, I've ridden out here. This is the <coughs> Auckland Way multi-use path. It used to be uh, a railway line. And this is Byers Green Station. We've probably missed the train by more than half a century, I guess. <laughs> we'll switch it, so it's a good job I've got my bike. Um, this is gonna be the last um, review of this uh, you might remember that this bike came from a scoot to my brother uh, I'll link his channel uh, for as a review as a review copy and he reviewed the specs essentially um, and had a little cycle around with it and then I took it and uh, did uh, a sort of um, longer term review of uh, two months and in that two months I used it every day and really enjoyed it so I ended up selling my car and switching to to this and now we are a year down the line I haven't quite had it for a year but it is coming up to a year and I thought it would be uh, interesting and or useful to do uh, another review to talk about what it's been like to ride this every single day for a year now i haven't quite done every single day um, if there was heavy snowfall uh, i didn't come out because this path would be pretty treacherous um, so uh, there have been a couple of days like that uh, where, where i didn't come out um, but, and then there's been the, the odd few days where i've um, sort of gone off somewhere um, by train and so I didn't use the bike and maybe there have been three or four days like that so I guess in total I've probably done 350 to 355 days riding this bicycle every single day um, and so I'm gonna just talk a bit about that experience now it has just been serviced. This is actually the first time out on it since its service. So let me start there. Let me talk a bit about after, uh, after that amount of time. Um, no, I've got my hands all dirty now. Um, oh well, <laughs> tribulations. Um, after that amount of time, what needed doing? Well, it did new, need new brake pads, obviously. Uh, now, I did put new brake pads in after about, ooh, I want to say, three or four months of use. And then this second set of pads have lasted all the way, although they were, by all accounts, absolutely on their last legs by the time he went in for its service. So let's say that's two sets of pads in that amount of riding. Um, now, I'll talk about what that amount of riding is in, in a little while, but two sets of pads, and they're about, mm, about 20 pounds a pair, 20 pounds a set, front and back. Um, so it needed those. Um, not surprisingly, it needed a new chain. And what was a little surprising for me, it needed a new cassette on the back. The, the cassette was all worn out. Now, when I took it in, uh, I had noticed an issue in seventh gear. When I put it into seventh gear, and this is a one by seven uh, drivetrain, when I put it into seventh gear, it just felt, the best way I can describe it is it felt gravelly. Um, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't good. It was smooth in all the other gears, but seventh was bad. 
uh, and that I guess is due to the uh, problems with the chain. Um, so anyway, that's all been um, uh, sorted, it's had a full service, so it's been completely stripped down, the cables replaced, everything, uh, and it is riding uh, much better now. Now let's talk about um, that amount of riding, because I guess, I guess many people who are using a bike like this, this is their, this is Escoot's Polino, it's described as a city bike, so it's sort of for going into town and doing some shopping and things like that. Um, so I guess most people probably aren't going to be riding it every single day. Um, so let's talk about the amount of riding I've done. Initially, in those first couple of months, I was doing about 50 miles a week. And that would pan out to be about two and a half thousand miles over the year. However, somewhere after that two months, and I can't remember exactly when this happened, um, my riding changed and I changed to riding this path every day and this is um, sort of 85 to 100 miles a week uh, which would be sort of four and a half to five thousand miles in a year. So I'm going to suggest that I've done between three and a half, well let's say three and a half thousand miles. I don't think it's going to have been as much as four thousand but say three and a half thousand miles uh, in that year. So in three and a half thousand miles uh, I've had two sets of brake pads, one chain, one uh, cassette. Um, total cost is about £120, which I don't think is too bad uh, for, your, for your daily transport. Now, let me talk about the battery, because batteries obviously and the longevity of batteries is always going to be an issue. Now, batteries... Um, the lifetime of batteries is probably in two parts. It's probably partly to do with the physical age of the battery, and this is now a year old, but it's also partly to do with the recharge cycles. Now, again, initially I was doing 50 miles a week, I was recharging it, I don't know, less than, less than once a week. Um, now I do 100 miles uh, a week, I'm recharging it um, more than once a week more than once a week um, but not quite twice a week uh, so that's going to have an effect upon the lifetime of the battery and I would say it's had probably in the region of 60 recharge cycles in that year now that has that has without a doubt had an effect upon the range now on their website a scoot claim 65 miles of range for this battery. Now they don't, or I haven't been able to find any detail about what that 65 miles means, but my guess is that's going to be on power assist one um, and you get 65 miles. Now after the two months I think I'd said that I was recharging it uh, after getting about 65 miles with about 30 to 40 percent of charge left. Now when I do that uh, same thing, I would say I'm getting 50 to 55 miles for that same amount of, uh, of charge. So the range of the battery has definitely gone down. However, it is still well within uh, the specs that Escoot claim for this on their website. It will comfortably do. I use it in Power Assist 2. It will comfortably do um, 65 miles uh, on a full charge on power assist 2 and probably on power assist 3 and it will do substantially more than that on power assist 1 so although the battery has lost capacity I would say uh, it's still well within their uh, claimed spec uh, the battery will continue to lose um, capacity of course because that's how rechargeable batteries work and I haven't looked into the idea of um, getting the battery refurbished or, although I, my guess is that that will be perfectly uh, possible if not right away then certainly in time um, just <laughs> I think they'll be safe <laughs> anyway <laughs> um, 
I, I will uh, look into that um, possibly. Uh, now let's talk about uh, going forwards. Now, in the sort of 10 days that, it, that the service people had it, and I used um, Northern Bike Shed in Bishop Auckland, uh, great place. Uh, but in the 10 days they've had it, um, I've been using my non-e-bike bike, which is just a cheap Halfords Boardman uh, bike. Um, retails for about 500 pounds. Uh, I bought it second hand. Uh, and I have to say, uh, I have much, much preferred that bike to this one and I think the reason is uh, the weight so the Borden bike is about 10 kilos um, the website claims 25 for this and I think that's probably about right uh, so 25 kilos is quite a lot of weight to shift um, and I find the ride on this in comparison to the Boardman to be quite uh, sluggish uh, I definitely for the same cadence, I definitely can't get uh, the same speed on this as I can on the Boardman bike. Uh, the Boardman bike is a much easier ride, apart from going up hills. Um, but even then, they have to be quite steep hills. Now, one of the rides I occasionally do is out to Durham, which is sort of a, a track in the other direction. And some of the hills on that ride are absolutely ferocious. Uh, I came to one hill um, and I had the boardman and I knew that I needed to be in the lowest possible gear so I, the boardman is a 3 by 9 so I had it in the absolute lowest gear and in that gear I couldn't get traction on the track so I ended up losing momentum and had to push it up. Um, so the boardman is quite, is quite a challenge up very very steep hills whereas this will you know, in, in, with a power assist, it will get you up those hills, provided you remember to get into first gear. But in every other situation, and certainly uh, along this track, um, my strongest preference is for the non-e-bike bike. And for my daily rides, I am now going to change to that Boardman bike and save this for those longer uh, treks out to Durham, where I have to negotiate <laughs> those ridiculous hills. Um, but all in all, I would say, uh, f after a year of pretty hard riding, and I have been out in, in literally any weather, apart from just after heavy snowfall, um, you know, if it's pouring with rain, I will sometimes wait until the rain abates, but I will still go out. And if there is heavy rain forecast, but it's not raining when I'm ready to go out, I'll go out. I carry a full set of waterproofs with me. So this bike has been um, well and truly tested, I, I would suggest. Um, the only sort of issue of any kind from that perspective is the front forks. And down here, <coughs> where the forks go into the dampers, the chrome has worn off and it's down to bare steel and you're starting to see some rusting there. So my guess is that uh, in another year's time, probably time for some new uh, front forks. But in order to keep the price as low as possible, and these are £1,200 on their website at present, they've obviously had to use uh, cheap components. <clears throat> and certainly these forks are apparently about £30 a set. So even if you are replacing those in another year, you've got two years of hard wear out of them. I uh, remember most people probably aren't um, doing the amount of riding in a year that, that I do on a bike like this. Um, and so the forks would last much longer. Um, but I would probably need, if I continued to ride this in the way that I have, I would probably need a new set of forks next year. And I might go for a more expensive set. So. It's likely that I'm going to use this substantially less in the, uh, in the next year and I'll switch to the uh, Boardman bike and see how I get on with that. And I might um, upgrade that, I might upgrade this, who knows. But that's what I've got to say about the Escoot Poluno. It's been a workhorse, uh, no complaints at all. Uh, it, it is a bit sluggish, but it's not really made for this kind of uh, riding. It's really made to go uh, into town and back from where you live. Um, and so I'm probably asking too much of it. Uh, 
would I recommend it? I absolutely would, uh, without a doubt. It's been a great bike. It's uh, it's an entry level bike. It's cheap for these things. Um, if you're thinking about it, go ahead and buy it. Uh, the Escoot website is excellent. They've got a wide range of bicycles. Uh, honestly, I can't fault it. It's uh, it's been great. Uh, I I just need something a bit different. I think. Anyway, I hope that's been of some interest for you, and let me know if you've got one of these, let me know what you think of it. Um, if you're thinking about it, let me know if whether you decide. Uh, definitely interested in hearing. Um, bye for now. So there you go, one year on, stupid hard use and still going strong and still going well. So thanks very much to Dave for doing that and don't forget to jump over to his channel and show some support for him which would be awesome and if you're not signed up to this channel don't forget to sign up to this channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.